savior Don't wanna be strangers Let me feel like you know what to do Leave your limitations Live and go against them Just like go and start up something new Cause I know, I know, I know That what you planned out Everything that you built up Isn't what you want And I know, I know, I know The life you're living Isn't that fulfilling Let me help you out So I've just walked from home on this lovely Sunday Arvo. Home's just across the road there. I've come down with my Shimano Vanford and my Colt Sniper Rod. And what I'm planning on doing today is on popping for Taylor. I'm using a Helco 105mm popper. This is the way I use it. I cast it out. When you're retrieving a popper on shallower reefs, I like to have the rod tip up and do bloops like this to keep it off the reef. We're only in about 150 mil of water, and I'm hoping we can draw a strike out of a few tailor by doing this. It shouldn't take long before we get one. Liam's on on his rod. Oh, pulled hooks. So we're just pulling up the tailor. Down here, far out, there's a big tailor too. Sorry. Yeah, we've got a big, big tailor here. I've caught a tailor on a popper. Oh, he just jumped off. So, are you on? Liam's on now. Oh. Go, Liam. Got some size? Oh yeah, decent. Liam's got a nice tailor on here. Be careful, he's about to throw a hook. Very nice fish, mate. Picked him up so we can get a look. Far out. That's a very solid tailor, mate. Well done. Nice one, mate. Beautiful. Put him what do you got? Get some more. Yeah, beautiful. Chuck him in. Good work. You on? Liam's using the little shiver stick. There is so much bait here. Now, Liam is going to catch more fish because he's using a stick bait, which the tailor are going to prefer at this time of the day. It's when it gets darker, they like feeding off the surface. Here comes another healthy tailor. And the rate we're going, this is going to be the Liam show. Whoa, keep that tailor away from me. And so the beach is just there. So we've come out in this fine Arvo. That's now our third. Once Liam's secure. Oh, and good release, mate. What do you think of that? Now let's see if we can get another one. So Liam really wants me to change my lure, which I'm going to do if he catches one more fish. Oh, that's a lot bigger. That's a huge tailor, Liam. Take your time with that one. We should walk him in this one, I reckon. It's a critical moment. We're on a very low reef, and uh, Liam's got a very big tailor. And his last few big fish he's caught, I've seen him lose. So we're going to get some up close action of him. Bringing this big boy in. Whoa! That's a thumper. It's a very nice fish. Yo, I think he's got two on the one lure. Is that what's happening or is it just... It's one decent one. That's a very nice fish, mate. Good work. I'm going to go persevere with the popper. So Liam is absolutely still on the show here. He's seriously making me consider changing my lure up. The hidden, oh, that's a good sized tailor. Oh, 
Nice one, Liam. Here he comes. And as you can see, we're in about a foot of water. <laughs> nice. Wow, far out, Liam. What's that? Nice fish, so what's that number three? Yeah, number three, so we'll put him back and keep going. Put him back, see if we can get a bigger we'll one. See if we can get Ben to change the lure. Yeah, I might have to change the lure. If he catches one more, I'm going to change so the lure. So I have to admit defeat. Liam's killing me on the stick bait, so I'm walking back in. I'm going to change my popper over to a Helco slide dog, and hopefully I can join in the fun with him. I've opted out for the Helco slide dog 105, the Chrome Tiger. I'm going to just quickly tie this on. I'm in a rush, so I'll just tie it on with a blood knot. And we'll get back out there, see if I can catch up the lamb in the fish stakes. There's a lot of bait out there, still be... There's a lot of bait out there, there'll still be a lot of fish to catch. Don't know how lamb keeps doing it, but he's found a good tail this time. Oh, did that get off? That was a good one too, eh? So Liam has left us due to dinner commitments. So I've gone for a bit of a walk along the beach. I found this nice rocky little outcrop and some shallow water there. There's a bit of a swell pumping today. So what happens is sometimes the mullet get pushed in close by the swell. And what the tailor do is they sit in behind the rocks in little gutters in between rock beds and that. And what they'll do is they'll come out and they'll ambush the mullet as they come over top. That's why I'm using surfaces and such shallow ground. So I'm about to just walk out there and um, yeah, hopefully I can find us a really big tailor. We've already caught a few today. So that'd be a great way to finish the Sunday afternoon. I was just about to call it. My neighbor Campbell's walked out and I've seemed to have hooked up right on sunset. What have we got? A little tailor. I haven't caught one that small in a long time. That is arguably the smallest tailor that I've caught in probably three, four years. Well, mate, you grow into an awesome predator and you destroy these reefs. Off you go. So the tailor died off and that happens quite frequently when you're fishing a tide like this. So what happened today was we got there right on the end of the high tide as the water was going out. And the tailor were herding up all the bait fish as they went out through the reef's hole. But as the tide's progressed and gone down th further, the tailor have seemed to have disappeared. I think they've either followed the bait out or they've just simply moved on. So I'm going to go back to our original starting spot, have a few casts. If I catch something, I'll take you along for the ride with me. If I don't, I'll see you guys next time. She's calling me.